In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a QTI file from Respondus to upload to Canvas. So this is Respondus, and make sure that you have a file that you can upload. I have this example file available for download, and it's properly formatted with the numbering as well as the star for each one of the answers. And as you can see here, it can have images as well. All right, so I have a properly formatted DOCX file ready to go. And so I opened up Respondus, and you under current personality, when you first open, so you want to select IMS QTI. Then you're going to select import questions. Up here where it says type of file, you're going to select Microsoft Word 2007 DOCX. And then you're going to click on browse, and you're going to find the file on your computer. I'm going to select to respond this <clears throat> file here. And now, under number two, it says create a new document. I'm just going to call this example exam. Okay. And you can name that file anything you want. And this is, you can use the preview button, which is going to import that file and let you take a look at it and see if there's any errors. There won't be because this is properly formatted. So there's no warnings. And we're going to click on finish. So the example file is now uploaded to Respondus. And if you need to take a look at any of them, you can click on uh, the little drop down box and select preview. And as well, there's an edit here if you need to make any changes. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to get that um, QTI file. So we're going to click on preview and publish. We're going to select the preferences. I'm going to leave it as points, um, as percentages, the default QTI. And I'm going to select save. And now it's going to save this file. So I'm going to save it to the desktop and it's going to make that IMS package for me. And that's it. That's all you have to do to convert that Word document that's properly formatted to an IMS. Now that I have the IMS file, here it is. It has to stay as a zip file. If you open it up, it's going to have a lot of files in there that don't make sense. That's what you want. So make sure it's the zip file. Now we're going to come over here into Canvas into a sandbox that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and go to settings. And then I'm going to go to import course content. I'm going to select um, content type, the very last one, QTI zip file. I'm going to choose a folder. And now I have there's my example exam. Okay. And then I'm just going to click on import. The test will import to Canvas. And since it's properly formatted QTI file, um, it will import. And as you can see, it's um, Quaid and now it's running. So you got to wait for that part to finish. Now it's completed. So we now can go over to the quizzes side within the course. And boom, there's my exam. I can click on it. I can click on preview. And now I see the exam, each one is one point. You'll have to edit if you wanted something. Um, if you'd like each one of those uh, questions, if you want to edit them, you would edit them as you normally would here inside of Canvas. It also, when you import it, it also makes a question bank. So that is a question bank as well that, you, um, that it automatically creates for Canvas. And that is how you use Respondus to create a QTI file for Canvas.